Now to the new details that we're learning about the last days of that American missionary who was murdered on a remote Indian island. The 26-year-old dying at the hands of natives who were armed with bows and arrows. Authorities are now trying to determine if there's a way to recover his body. Searching, ABC's Lindsay Dur Davis is here with more. Good morning to you, Lindsay. Good morning, Paula. It is illegal to go within five nautical miles of this island because the inhabitants are known for aggressive behavior against outsiders. But John Chow, an American missionary, told friends he was drawn there to spread the word of God. This morning, new details are emerging about the final days of John Chow, the American missionary believed to have been killed by an endangered tribe on a remote island in the Indian Ocean. In a journal given to the Washington Post by his mother, the 26-year-old who traveled the world preaching Christianity and documenting his travels on Instagram wrote about illegally making contact with the Sentinelese, a small indigenous tribe that has resisted contact with the rest of the world. In that diary, the missionary talks about trying to to engage with the tribe, offering them gifts while singing worship songs. But he says the initial contact didn't go well. I'm scared, he writes, watching the sunset and it's beautiful, wondering if it will be the last sunset I see. Lord, is this island Satan's last stronghold? Where none have heard or even had the chance to hear your name? Chow reportedly left the 13-page journal with the fishermen he allegedly paid to take him to the island. Those fishermen were arrested for helping Chow get to the island. Contact with the tribe is illegal. Even after the 2004 tsunami, a member of the tribe was photographed on the beach firing arrows at a helicopter sent to check on their well-being. His desire was to befriend them. He brought gifts to them, but unfortunately, as we now know, uh, that didn't happen. In his last journal entries, he appears to struggle with whether to abandon his quest to convert the Sentinelese. I think I could be more useful alive, but to you, God, I give all the glory of whatever happens. Forgive any of the people on this island who try to kill me, especially if they succeed. Despite his apprehension, he did return to the island and was never seen alive again. Fishermen say that they saw his body being dragged and buried. Local authorities believe that he was killed with bow and arrow. But contact with this tribe, as you mentioned in the piece, it's illegal, but for good reason, right? Exactly. They don't have the immune system to be, be able to basically survive, potentially, the kind of diseases that outsiders might bring. And they've had unfortunate encounters with the outside world they have, before. Yes. They have reason for hostility. All right, peace, y'all. It's Jay Dizzle. This is the Netter Kent YouTube channel. Please subscribe, hit the bell. Also check out liberationmindedmedia.net so you can check out other platforms that are independent black media. Now listen, I know some may think that I'm uh, being a little bit obsessive with this North Sentinel situation. And maybe to a certain degree I am. But I really, really got to give it to them. I got to really put some respect on their name. And I think you should too. Put some respect on the Sentinelese name. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because I'm starting a new hashtag. And it's called Hands Off Sentinel Island. Now, the reason I want to start this hashtag is because in light of the things that have happened and come to pass in the last few days, with the so-called missionary who was killed upon trying to breach the territory of Sentinel Island. There has been Christian groups and some media outlets that are indicating that there should be some type of action taken towards the Sentinel tribe. In other words, it sounds like there may possibly be some type of military or other actions that people are suggesting and pushing that should happen as a result to John Chow being killed upon trying to breach their territory. Now, let me do a quick recap and put some commentary in, if you don't mind. Now listen, the parent story, the, the, the official story is that John Allen Chow, a missionary from Alabama, was going to North Sentinel Island, a place that he knew they did not want him to be. He knew it was illegal for him to do such. 
Yet not only did he bribe fishermen to take him there, but he's already attempted to breach this island before and was hit with a volley of arrows, one almost striking him. And this has happened more than once. So he knew the sentiment of the Sentinelese. He knew that their handshake was a volley of arrows at that ass. He knew this. He did not put respect on their name. And as a result, he died. But that's not even the biggest part. That's not even really the, 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 the coldest part of the game. Because I was watching a video, a YouTube video on the subject, and some sister, um, I forgot her name. However, she laid it out. And she went to the late John Child's Instagram page. And on that Instagram page is apparent that he is a habitual line stepper when it comes to going to indigenous tribes and indigenous lands and breaching people's territory. This is something that he's done before. And when you look at his Instagram page, she went through his Instagram page right there on the video. I'll put the link in so you can watch the video yourself. And there is no signs, no indicators that he is a missionary at all. There's no Bible study. It doesn't even say he's a missionary on his byline on his Instagram page. There's no Bibles. There's no God blesses. There's no uh, him spreading the good word. There's no Bible studies. There's no church affiliation. None of these things. So it's not even really certain that he is a missionary. However, one thing we know about missionaries and those who do try to spread the good word of Jesus Christ is that is a conquering device. To spread that word to people who don't know it or don't want it, it is almost like a victorious act of war or a victorious conquering, I should say. What I want y'all to do is I want y'all to check out a movie called Caesar's Messiah. You can find it on YouTube. This movie will really lay out a lot of things. Now, if you're a diehard Christian, Israelite, someone like that who wants to really validate the word of God or the gospel or the Bible, you're not going to want to watch this because it's going to be really hard for you not to see exactly what it is, what a lot of people have been saying for a long time. So it might be a conflict of interest for y'all to watch this, but for those who don't mind hearing the truth and actual facts amongst the many things you're going to realize is something that we've already knew something that we already uh, intuitively, intuitively knew and that is that when these so called missionaries or so called gospel spreaders that like to go to darker nations with their God, their Bible, their Jesus it is always an act of conquering this is how they see it. And history will play out time and time again that shortly after they conquered the minds and the spirit of the indigenous, they always come back with a sword. They come back with the gun, with a flag to plant. It is always the prerequisite for a takeover. So put some respect on the Sentinels name for being hip on game and letting them things go as they should have. Now, of course, the arrogant Europeans and Asians and others who think that there should be accountability because they don't respect the sovereign wishes of a nation or a tribe of people. Now who knows why they really don't want anybody up in their island. Like I said, maybe it's the Wakanda factor. Maybe they have a little bit more going on than they wish to let the world know. Nevertheless, whatever it is, they don't wish to be a friend upon. And oh yeah, if any of y'all Sentinelese happen to have an internet, you know what I'm saying, get at me. You know what I'm saying, hit me up with an email, blackguystand.radio at gmail. You know what I'm saying, let's chop it up.
I want to hear your side of the story. So I'm just saying, put some respect on the name. And we need to really have this hashtag kick up. If you got a popping Twitter follower, or I don't give a damn if you got 20 followers, hashtag hands off Sentinel Island. If you make a video on YouTube, put somewhere in the comments, somewhere in the description, hashtag hands off Sentinel Island. Let's let it be known that black people and people uh, across the world are on the same page that we should leave that island alone. It was an illegal act for this so-called missionary to breach those lands. He paid off fishermen. The fishermen are arrested for that. He's dead, but they got arrested because it was illegal for them to even take him there. But he bribed them and paid them off. That's arrogance. That's a straight premeditated illegal activity. He knew that he was not wanted on shore because he's tried to breach before. And the same results. They shot arrows. They shot up warning shots though. Because if they wanted to hit him, I would think that a people who've lived like this for thousands of years, they're probably pretty damn deadly with that arrow. And I'm pretty sure not all of them would have missed. They know what range they can shoot at. They know the, how the variations of their aim for the work for the winds and wind swirls and all that shit. If the humidity is, is, is up or, or down, they know how to compensate for those kind of things because they've been doing this for so long. So if they didn't hit him the first couple of times, they were giving him a warning to back up off. Back up off me. That's what they were saying. So put some respect on their name. Hashtag hands off Sentinel Island. That Thanksgiving clapback. That's what it really was. The Thanksgiving clapback. And it's unfortunate that people cannot respect their wishes to be left alone. It's like these people think they just have the right to infringe upon anyone, anytime, anywhere. So now they want accountability for someone who illegally entered territory that they were not welcome to illegally I mean it was it, it, it was illegal the act we're not even talking about the laws that obviously the Sentinelese live by which is don't breach our shit but it was illegal internationally because that's why he had to bribe those fishermen that's why those fishermen got arrested because this was an illegal act so here is an illegal colonizer attempting to Start the first pro to start the process, initiate the process of colonization. Who really sent this dude? I don't know. But they want to find out what's going on because they have not breached inside of that village. They haven't breached it. They don't know anything about it. It's too dense of forest for even a helicopter to be able to peer down and see the day-to-day -day activities. They don't know how these people live. They don't know what level of technology they, they're really dealing with. The, the level of civilization and the, their, their rank and order and their population. They don't know any of these things and it's just killing them not to know. And it's killing them to try to know because this is not the first time. When you start researching this, you'll see a pattern. You'll see a pattern going back 200 years over 200 years of people trying to breach that island and I, and I mentioned something that happened a while back and, and, and it was France I thought it was either France or England it was France 1800 something they kid uh, the, some Frenchmen kidnapped two elders and four other people of the Sentinelese tribe the two elders died when they took them back to, the, to Paris they brought the other four back with gifts. These people ain't forgot that. They have not forgot that every single time. And who knows what has happened even before that. Which really makes them not even want to fuck with anybody. You don't even know what may have happened before that. Or at in some point in their history. That they decided it's better not to mess with foreigners and let outsiders in. Who knows 